Hello, what's happening ladies and gentlemen? My name is The White Mexican and I'm going to be playing this mission for you because I see a lot of people play this mission and they do it on Master Difficulty, which shows you I'm switching it to Master Difficulty. It tells you everything right there as you can see. I'll use my mouse to even show you what all that it requires for you to do. Which means that we're basically not going to save. We're going to try to avoid everybody. Try to do this all without changing our uniform. Meaning that we're going to have to move through carts and everything. This is going to take a little while. And what's also making it difficult is my dog can't choose where the fuck he wants to lay. Either behind me or on my lap. And I think he's chosen to lay behind me. But just to skip the intro to this. I'm going to start immediately in the laboratory. And... Oh, excuse me. I'm just pretty much going to try to stay undetective. Uh, possibility just knock people out and just try to move without changing my uniform. Uh, I know the damage is extremely more higher. Uh, sometimes it's just... It's, it's pretty much going to get bad at this point. And I play this game religiously, but I see a lot of people go through, you know, mass... Uh, put it on the highest difficulty and go like no damage, but they shoot everybody in the head. I'm not going to pick up any guns. I'm just going to pick up melee weapons just to knock people unconscious. So, it's going to take a little time, so hopefully we can get through this together. Alright, we'll wake up on the table. So, just to show you guys that I'm not hiding any trickery or anything like that, I am not going to cut any of this footage out. Now, if there is some parts where it gets a bit too lengthy, I may dice that down a little bit, but just to show you guys that I'm not lying to you. So, okay, so what we're going to do, we got to move quick. So literally I am just going to stealthily, as best as I can, limit very little knocking people out, limit doing any of that. Shit, I'm already compromised. So, that failed pretty bad. But, the cool thing about it is we take him, we stuff him in here. No longer compromised because nobody's going to find him. And he's going to die and rot away in there. Which I probably should have just knocked him unconscious. I thought I could get past him. There's no knockout tool in here, is there? I don't think there is. No, I can just play hooky and just lie there. But we gotta try to, you know, make it through as fast as we can. So, already compromised there. But, I'm gonna try to move more further. So, if you're trying to figure out what this keypad to get in here, it's that. It's numbers is 1979. It's kind of right on the nose. It's the only number around here and big. To get this tool to get out here. Now, again, I've played this religiously, so I know where most of the picks are, most of the melee weapons knocking out. You'll see stuff that's where I've already gone through, which will make it a tad bit more easier to, to for me. Because, again, I played this like it was going out of style. And that is... As 100% the truth. So there's a nail around here. If I can find it. I'm gonna subdue this guy real quick. Without seeing me. Okay, so here's the key. Oh, nope, I didn't want that. Drop that. I'm gonna run back here real quick. Open this door. I don't think there's anybody inside. Doesn't look to be. I'm gonna move through here. Jump through here. There's that. And usually I was gonna bust open one of these crates. I think there's a nail in here somewhere. I think. I don't see one. But this is gonna be one of my tools to break into other places to save the nails to uh, pick certain things or to use this to break open certain catches which will have way more stuff what I'm going to need to continue to move forward with this without being seen and that's the that's the big plan of it so there should be 
any tools in here so you see as I said with the tool this is this is one of the reasons why I wanted to keep it because these are these have a higher chance of having something better in them like what is that that is a flash grenade okay so that's even better can get through places stealthier won't get caught again no weapons no nothing that is basically that will be lethal to kill somebody so they can't pursue me or anything like that just full-on 100% to your best ability stealth and I about got knocked in the teeth by that I don't see any tools in there what is that there's some type of tool but I'm not gonna be able to get that tool because for one it's severely trapped by people and that's a nice pick I don't think there's any tools in here I can get yeah, so that this is a bummer a bust what is this brick didn't know that was there I think we're making some good time. Not the best of time, but decent time. Screwdriver. You can usually use that to fiddle around with shit. I don't think there's anything in here. Yep, soda can. Take that. Go up top. Just wait right there. Drop down right here. I mean, I was eventually going to have to sneak into the cart anyways, but that made no sense to do that. So everybody's asleep. Nobody's paying attention. I'm going to move. Is there anything here I need? Don't see anything. All right, so we're going to make it out of the way of the cart. I'm going to keep moving forward. Jumping through here into the next passenger, or not the next passenger cart, but the cart almost close to the next passenger's cart. So, this is what's going to happen. He's going to walk down this way, then we're going to walk literally the minute that he starts walking, we're going to fall right behind him, because we're going to take a window that's going to get us out of here. So, come on. You want to be commando. Turn your bitch ass around. Open that door, motherfucker. I will choke you out. Okay, maybe it's the next one. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, yep, I got it. I got it. I know what I'm doing. I remember I knocked him out with a can. But, this being much more challenging I can't really just go willy-nilly slapping people in the head with cans because I don't know the detection radius because I don't play it on this difficulty very much I play it on pretty much normal difficulty not hard because I like to enjoy my games instead of tearing my hair out but I also like to show people up because People make it seem like, oh, this is a difficult mission. Oh, I'm going to play it on Master Rank. Oh, I'm going to show the world that I'm good. No damage taken. Well, I'm going to do it without changing my goddamn outfit. And I'm going to kick everybody's ass, so. I'm not even going to have to kill a single person. There's nothing in here. Yeah, so this is one of the rooms I opened up, as you can see. Which, it's going to make it easier to get through here. Because I can go up top. Save myself a headache. And I can't remember which way the drop down is. I think it's this way. Ooh, we're going to switch sides real quick. Uh, I'm going to assume it's the other way. Unless there's a window out there. But. I'm pretty sure he's going to see me. Him looking through his goddamn binoculars. Come on. Go up. Climb 
down. Oh, shit. I just look like a big ass liar. Okay, so. Obviously, I don't think it's this window we gotta go in. Because that guy would see us. Alright, let's. Let's figure this out. There's somewhere I gotta go in. And Captain Ahab's gonna see me 100%. So, probably gonna take this window here. It's gonna throw me back a few steps, but it's gonna help, hopefully. Because I'm gonna have to sauce my way through this one. easier way to get through here. There's something I'm missing. I'm not seeing something. Because I, I, I swore I got through here without any trouble. Alright. Let's go back through here. There's no way to get up, so we're going to take that door that I went through so I don't accidentally triple alarm. Go back up through here. Come on, up we go. Dodge that real quick. So it's icing all over there. It's icing there. I'm not. I'm lost. Like, sadly lost. Okay, now I see it. I see it now. I didn't see it before. Yep, I see it now. Because I, I knew there was a way to get across without having to go through the cart. Now, it's like, literally, I came close. Like, am I going to have to run through this damn cart? Because if I have to, this is going to suck. Because two things are going to happen. I'm going to get spotted or I'm going to get the crap beaten on me. So there's a nail. There we go. One of the first nails I found, which I should have found like probably a half a dozen more, but to each is their own. Crawl through here. Let's get through here. Again, being as stealthy as possible. Not trying to kill anybody, not having to shoot no one. Ooh, this is a tough one. I know that for a fact. The question is, can I go up? Which it looks like I can. Nope, doesn't look like I can. So I'm gonna jump in the room with this guy. Milo, can you pick a spot to stay at? Get down. Get down. Go. Go, move. Okay, it may not be as difficult now. So, one of those guys up there is going to move, which I'm hoping. Oh, shit. I know that was a close one. Ooh, my butt cheeks puckered up there for a minute. Timing was definitely all on that one, I'll tell you that much. How about clench my butt cheeks there? I was about to go like, yep, I'm, I'm caught. He found me. I'm screwed. Because I've done it before on this difficult, uh, well, not this difficulty, but I've done it on the other difficulty. Which is basically the version of normal for this game. And I had no troubles with it. And I was like, man, I, am I going to be able to get away with it on this one? Or am I going to get caught? But I didn't. So I got lucky there. Those are fragment grenades. We don't need those. I'm going to move up real quick. Grab this dude real quick. Put him in a sleeper hole. Now there's a thing here. Here it is. 
We're going to need this to make it through them. So, uh, there's an ice pick there. Is there another? Okay, so, I believe... I, I know there's something in there, but I don't, I shouldn't need it. So this is what's going to happen. That guy's going to drop, that guy's going to walk down that way. Alright, I'm going to drop right here. There we go. Yeah, he's got a fuse next to him. But I got to, I got to trick up my sleeve. So, what's going to happen is, Sir Captain Douchewad there is going to walk forward. I'm going to run up to that box right there. I'm going to put this in there. And it's going to flash everybody and put them in a blind status. So nobody can see me. Nobody can see me. But this guy right here, I think he's going to get out of stasis soon. And I'm going to need to climb in here to hide. Because they're going to search for me. Which I believe that guy will walk in here. And Sir Captain here is going to sit here for a second. And I think there's a box in here that I can break into. So they're going to come this way. Because they're going to search all the way up to here. Here they come. On cue. Come on, you assholes, leave. Tell them false alarm, you know. Now we're going to wait for that door to shut, which it'll shut here in a second. There we go. So now we can leave this, and that guard will go back to his post. Get back down here. I'm going to subdue this guy. There's no other way to get past him. Take this guy over here, drop him in there, so nobody finds him. Gonna move through here. Gonna use one of our picks because I believe there's a fuse in here. There it is, that's what we need. Alright. I'm gonna grab that hammer too. Now I'm gonna need that, I'm gonna need a lot of knocking out tools. So this is what's gonna happen. That guy right there that's on his knees is going to walk a certain distance, then come back, then walk another certain distance. So he's going to walk that way. Because i got to watch out for two people. i got to watch for the soldier right there, and i got to watch out for him. So he's going to kick that shit, then he's going to walk back over, tinker with something. And that's when this bad boy is going to get put in that little box there. Ooh, this made it extremely difficult. Come on, you big bitch, turn around. Okay. Gotta do it perfect, gotta do it perfect, gotta do it perfect. Flawless victory, flawless victory. Move, 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 move. Up we go. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Whoop! Okay, so here's where it gets difficult. So this guy's gonna walk back and forth. Which he doesn't know, but he's about to get... I need to drop that, because I don't want to accidentally throw that in his head, because that's going to throw a wrench, literally, in all my things. But he is going to take a hammer to the back of the head, I'll tell you that much. Which I don't think hammers in this is lethal, which I'm hoping is not. Because if I end up knocking this guy out, actually, I may not have to. If I'm quick enough, I can, sub I can shut those two doors and subdue them. Nobody will know. Okay, so they're searching the area. I'm gonna drag Mr. Sir Dump a lot, put him in here. Okay. So this is the part that I said it's gonna get really difficult because there's no way to get through unless you put on a suit. Which, it's like almost difficult to get past here. So. Oh my lord. 
this is this is gonna be quite difficult. Oh, I need a screwdriver, okay. I'll go grab a screwdriver real quick. Which is one back here. Which I don't think anybody should hear me running. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Move, 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 move. Okay. So Get rid of you motherfucker! There we go. Okay, so what's gonna happen is that he's gonna come over here, and we're gonna try to sneak past, because he's gonna be too busy with that. Hopefully. La di da da, la ta ta ta. Oh shit! I don't have any more screwdrivers. Well, shit. Can I not subdue her while she's in a chair? Do I have to stand up? No. All right. Well, honey, hope you like hammer to the back of the head. So do that. Oh, shit. Well, there's two witnesses. I don't think there's any place I can stick them. So I made it through all the way without being, um, without killing a soul. I did get compromised a few times. Which does say I have two witnesses that compromised me, which sucks. Because I don't know how I would have got past them. And this guy, who thought he was going to be the slickest shit of them all, is going to get fiber wired. You know what? Can I just palm him with this? No, I don't think that's going to work. Um, yeah, where's my fiber wire? Let's just, let's just string him up like a turkey. There we go. And just drop him there. And leave. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it was entertaining enough. Hopefully I um, almost accomplished all my tasks, which was not to use a single gun, not to change my outfit, and try to move through everybody sneakily as best as I could, like a like a like a field mouse in a church. But, um, yeah, so for any of you guys out there that try to do this with no damage, nothing like that, do it without using a single bullet. How about that? Do it without changing in your outfit and try to do better than what I did when I got compromised three times, I believe. But thank you guys for watching. This was the White Mexican and Milo's dead sleep on the ground, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out. Bitches.